Hey, Chemstars, this is Mrs. Vandalai bringing you another edition of Chemstar Video. We're still in section 7.3, and this is video number six. As always, get out your periodic table with your polyatomic ions and your calculator once again. Okay, so pause this, find your stuff, and come back. All right, hopefully you have your calculator, your periodic table, and your polyatomic ion sheet. So what are we doing in this section? We are going to convert between grams and volumes and atoms and molecules using the mole. All right, so it's not enough to just find out how many moles. Whoops, typically what we're going to do is um, we want to know, like, how many grams. We're going to go into the lab. Maybe we want grams. Maybe we want volume. Um, so we need to be able to get from one unit to another. And how do we do it? Well, we're going to picture the mole as a bridge. It's going to be a mole bridge. So when we do these problems, always go to the mole first. So it says I can interconvert between grams, volume, and atoms using the mole. So we're going to use mass again, molar mass, and we have a new term called a two-stepper. So what the heck is that? So a one-stepper is if the mole is part of the problem, if it's either the given or what you want. You might want to jot that down. So if the mole is either given or um, what you're looking for, it's a one-stepper. If you do not see the word mole in the problem, it is a two-stepper. So what does that mean? Well, here's this picture. And yes, Mrs. Vandoy actually drew that picture. Isn't it lovely? All right, so here's the land of mass, and here's the land of atoms or molecules, and then here's this divide, all right? Maybe it's like the Ohio River. What do you think, all right? So are you just going to walk across the Kentucky? Of course not, all right? Uh, hopefully you don't swim. The, the Ohio River looks pretty nasty, so uh, you're not going to swim across either. You're going to take a bridge, okay? Well, that's what the mole is. The mole is the bridge between the atoms or molecules and mass. So this is super duper important. If you, and this is why factor labeling is so important, this is why you shouldn't be lazy, that's why you write down every unit. The units tell you what numbers to pick. This is one of the hardest problems of this whole unit. How do you know what numbers go where? If you write down your units, it tells you what to do. If you write down the G for grams, you're going to use the periodic table and find the molar mass. If you write down atoms or molecules, you're going to use 6.02 times 10 23rd over here. And every single time you write down the word mole, it's one. So you can think of it this way, that there's only one mole here, right? And that mole, he's number one, isn't he? All right. So every time you write down the word mole, it's one mole. Okay. So let's see how this works. Okay. So let's look at number one. Okay. How many grams are there in 23.8 moles of iron? So is this a one-stepper or a two-stepper? Well, I got grams here and I got moles here. So go back up. Do you see the word mole in the problem? Yes. If the answer is yes, it is a one-stepper. So what the heck does that mean? Okay, ready? All right, here we go. Uh, how many grams are equal to? 23.8 moles. This right here makes it a one-stepper. You only need one ratio. You only need one conversion factor. That makes it a one-stepper. So if the word mole is in the problem, all right, you only need one of these. So what moles, where am I going to, what's going to go down here, by the way? What's in the denominator? What unit? Mole, right? Hey, what number goes with mole? One mole. Always one mole. So what unit are you looking for? I'm looking for grams, right? Grams, use your periodic table, all right? Now, go ahead on your periodic table and look up iron. What do you get? 55.85, all right? So let's try this again. I wrote down the word mole. There's a one. I wrote down the G. I used the periodic table. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to do this. It's a one-stepper. All right, so now what, what am I going to do? I'm going to, well, it's on the top. I'm going to times. All right, so here's my times. That's what I get. Hopefully you got that too. And now what? Three sig figs. I need three sig figs here. One, two, three, round up. And there you go.
All right, how about number two? How many atoms are there in 223 grams of copper? Is it a one-stepper or is it a two-stepper? Well, let's look. What were the words? Grams and atoms. What word do you not see? The word mole is not part of the problem, is it? Did, was, is the word mole, let's go back and look. Look at problem two. Is the word mole in the problem? No, it's not. So it's not a one-stepper. It must be a two-stepper. Okay, so what does that mean? Ready? It is a two-stepper. Why? The mole is not given or wanted. Okay, so it's a two-stepper. So I want how many atoms, oops, how many atoms are there in 223 grams? All right, so it is a one-stepper. It is a two-stepper. I need to do that twice, all right? So my first part is to go from, well, what goes in the denominator is grams. Well, where do I get that number from? The periodic table. So look at copper, and what do you get? I got 63.55. How about you? Well, what is it that I'm looking for? I'm looking for atoms. Well, I don't know the relationship between grams and atoms, so what must I use? The mole. I need to go to the mole. All right, so put moles on top. But do I want the mole? No, I don't. I want to get rid of the mole. So remember how I, I would cancel things out? Here, let's do this. So grams cancels out, right? Well, I need moles to cancel out, right? So what's going to go on the next denominator? I believe it's going to be one mole. Look, look, look. So what can I do? The unit mole is going to cancel out. So what is it that I'm looking for? What's going to have to go on top? I believe atoms goes on top, right? Well, what number will always go with atoms? 6.02 times 10 to 23rd. So now look what we can do. What unit is left? Atoms. And that's the unit that we want. All right. So now I'm ready to get out my calculator. I'm going to do what? Take 223 divided by, oops, uh, 63.55 equals, right? Now hit times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And what do you get? I got that. Now, do I need that many digits? No, I need three digits. Ready? One, two, three. It looks like I need 2.11 times 10 to the 24th atoms of copper. Okay. Let's try number three. How many moles are there in 2.3 times 10 to the molecules? Is this one step or two? And I forgot to erase that. So one stepper. How do I know? I see the word moles, all right? So why don't you go ahead and take a little bit of time. So pause this and finish off the problem, okay? So only come back when you're done. Okay, so here's my setup. How many moles equals 2.3 times 10 to the 25th? It's a one-stepper, right? So I need one of these. What unit has to go on the bottom? Molecules. What unit goes on top? The only thing it can do is moles. And notice the number is one mole. All right, so what am I going to do? Multiply or divide? The divide. Why? Because the denominator has something in it. So 2.3 EE 25th, the divided by 6.2 EE 23rd, and I got this. That's way too many digits, isn't it? I only need two, so it becomes 38 moles. Okay? Well, let's try the next one. Number four, how many grams of iron three oxide are there in 1.55 times 10 and 23rd molecules? Is this a one-stepper or a two-stepper? Do you see the word moles? No. So what must it be? A, oops, sorry, a two-stepper, okay? All right, ready? Let's do this. 
how many grams are equal to this many molecules, right? And it's a two-stepper. Okay. Um, what unit goes in the denominator? Molecules. What number always goes with molecules? 6.02 times 10 23rd. And then what goes on top? It's the mole bridge. Molecules can only go to moles. But do I want moles? I'm going to cross these out. Is moles what I'm looking for? No, I got to keep going. So unit has to go on the bottom again. Moles. All right. Your last numerator should always be what you're looking for. So I'm looking for grams, so I need to put grams here. <gasps> I need the periodic table, all right? So I need to know what the molar mass of iron three oxide is. Why don't you pause this and you come up with the molar mass of iron three oxide, all right? So pause this, come up with it. All right, are you back? So this is what I did. And so my molar mass is 157.9, so I'm going to put that right there. And now I'm ready to do this. So I'm going to cancel things out. Moles. Moles, what unit is left? Grams. <gasps> That's what I want, isn't it? All right, so you ready? 1.55 times 10 to the 23rd. Now what? To divide it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Multiply it on top your times. And what do you get? Here, go ahead and, and, and type that all in and do it for me. I got this. All right, that's overkill, Mrs. Vandoy. I need one, two, three digits. So I need one, two, three. So that's what I get, okay? All right, so number five, how many grams of plutonium are there when there are only a thousand atoms can you do me a favor and make that a thousand with a decimal point so there's four six figs now think about this problem real quick we learned back in chapter five when we talked about the periodic table that plutonium is a man-made element so how do you make plutonium you make it one atom at a time so this question it may not be quite so ridiculous as it sounds. A thousand atoms is not many atoms, but when you're making them one atom at a time, you gotta count them somehow, right? Yes, you do. Okay, uh, plutonium is used in nuclear warheads, um, or at least it, it had been. It was actually used in the Nagasaki bomb. Um, so you gotta keep careful track of how many atoms you have. You certainly don't have too many atoms floating around or maybe someone else is gonna get them and, and use them on you, okay, that'd be bad. So anyway, this is not as ridiculous. They, the, the scientists um, up in Hanford, Washington who are making the plutonium were literally doing this whole calculation like what we're doing right now to determine when they had the right number of atoms, okay? They didn't count them, they masked them. Okay, so uh, is this a one-stepper or a two-stepper? Well, I see grams and I see atoms. What don't I see? Moles. So is it a one-stepper or a two-stepper? Everyone, it is a two-stepper. What I'd love for you to do is you do this on your own. And when you are ready, unpause this and see how you did, okay? Go ahead and pause this. All right, so how'd you do? Uh, hopefully you did question mark gram, oops, question mark gram, sorry about that, is equal to a thousand with a decimal point at the end atoms, and it's a two-stepper, right? Oops. One stepper and a, oops, come here, a two-stepper, okay? Um, so what unit has to go on the bottom? Atoms. What number goes with atoms every time? 6.02 times 7.23. And what's the only thing atoms can go to? The mole. You have to go to the mole bridge. Now we're on the mole bridge. Now we're on the mole bridge. We gotta get off the mole bridge. All right. And what are you looking for? You're looking for grams. <gasps> you need the periodic table. So did you look up plutonium? Hopefully you did and found it is 244 grams. 
and now I'm ready to do my math. So what is 1,000 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 3rd times 244? It is really a small, small mass. I don't think the uh, scientists in Hanford, Washington has a scale that would go to the nearest 10 to the 19th grams, all right? So that makes it kind of rough. Uh, but anyway, I have four sig figs, so I can go one, two, three, four, so I get this, all right? Um, so anyway, uh, that would be the math. Well, let's see what the next page brings. All right, so notice what this mole bridge does. It includes the volume. So here's my bridge again. So if I want to go from atoms to volume, go through the mole. And what number do we use as volume? 22.4. What if we want to go from volume to grams? Well, we got to go through the mole bridge. If you want to go from atoms to molar mass, you go through the mole bridge. So this number will equal to one mole, molar mass will equal to one mole, and 22.4 will equal to one mole. That's what the mole bridge does, okay? So let's check this one out. Um, how many liters are there in 2.35 moles of oxygen? Is it a one-step or a two-step, everyone? One. Why? What word do you see here? Right there. I see the mole. So go ahead and do this and pause it, and when you're done, come back. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you uh, worked this whole thing out and then came back and unpaused it instead of waiting for me to do all the work. Uh, so here's question mark liters is 2.35 moles. It is a one-stepper, so I only need one of these. What unit goes on the bottom? mole and it's a one mole what unit do you want liters oh that's always 22.4 always so i'm gonna this is on top i'm going to times so 2.35 times 22.4 is this number hopefully you got that and then i only need three numbers three sig figs so that's my answer I hope you did all that work on your own and then you just checked your work, all right? It's going to be a whole lot more meaningful if you did that versus just copy this down, all right? All right, so now we're going to be back in a more normal problem again. Uh, we have at least a decent amount of uh, atoms this time. So how many grams are there in 1.4 times centimeter atoms of plutonium? Is this a one-stepper or a two-stepper? You see the word mole? I don't. So it is a two-stepper. All right, so let's see how this is going to be set up. So how many grams are there in 1.4 times 10 to the 20th atoms, because it's an element, plutonium, and it is a two-stepper, okay? So a unit goes on the bottom. Atoms. What number goes with atoms? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. What's the only thing going to happen on top? You put your mole there. I don't want moles. I got it. This is, I'm getting on the mole bridge. Now I'm going to go off the mole bridge. And what is it that I want? Grams. Will you look up plutonium again if you've already forgot from the front page or the other page? What is the molar mass of plutonium? 244. All right. So what am I going to do here? Going to take this, to divide it by this, times this. So go ahead and do that and see if you get my answer. All right, this is what I got. Now, how many uh, sig figs should I have? Two. Two sig figs. All right, do me a favor in number three. Um, erase the word atoms, write molecules. Why is that important? Because this is not an element. This is a compound. So the smallest unit of a compound would be a molecule. Don't do atoms, okay? All right, go ahead and do this one all by yourself. All right, and when you are done, so pause this, and when you're done, come back and you'll check it, all right? So go ahead and pause this. All right, how'd you do? Well, it is a two-stepper because there is no mention of moles. So how many molecules are there in 25.7 liters? And it is a 
two stepper, right? Uh, what unit goes on the bottom? Liters. What number goes with liters every time? 22.4. Well, I got to go to moles. That's the only thing liters can go to. But so now I'm on the mole bridge. I got to get off the mole bridge. So what unit do I want? I want molecules. What number goes with molecules every single time? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So now I'm ready to do the math. So 22 or 25.7 divided by 22.4. It's in the denominator. So I'm going to divide it. And then multiply by 6.2 times 10 to the 23rd. And this is what I got. That's a little bit overkill. And so I only needed three sig figs. And that's what I got. Hey, folks, you're almost done. So go ahead and do number four for me all by yourself. Pause this. And when you're done, come back. All right, welcome back. So is this a one-step or a two-step or it is a two-step or how do I know? There's no moles. So how many liters are there in 30 grams? What is this a two-stepper? And so what unit goes on the bottom? Well, grams goes on the bottom. Uh-oh, grams, I need the periodic table. Well, I need to know what the formula is. It's sulfur trioxide. There's sulfur trioxide, so I used one sulfur and three oxygens, and I got 80.06. Hopefully you got the same thing. So you need the periodic table to fill in the G. So here it is. And what can that go to? The only thing it can go to is the mole. And so now what? I don't want the mole. I got to get rid of the mole. I got to get off the mole bridge. Here I got on the mole bridge. Here I'm getting off the mole bridge. And what number goes with liters every time? 22.4. So now what? What is this divided by 80 times 22.4? And there you go. But that's too many numbers. I need three only. So go one, two, three, around the eight up to a nine. And there you go. So that is how you do two steppers, all right? So hopefully you come away with the fact that you recognize it if you see the word mole or if you don't see the word mole. Hopefully by now you've recognized that every time you see the word mole, it's a one mole. Every time you see liters, it's 22.4. Every time you see atoms or molecules, it's 6.02 times 10 23rd. And finally, every time you see grams, you need the periodic table. So on that note, don't wait to be great. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.